Hello, all you happy, happy, joy, joy, happy, happy, joy, joys, to another episode of Earthbound on the Super Nintendo for Memory Lane Gaming. Welcome to Happy Happy Village. It looks awfully blue. Hello. Excuse me, tourist. I am collecting donations to help protect the world from contaminants. Donate whatever you can. How much would you like to donate? Your good deed will be rewarded. Here's a postcard for you. I wanted to give you a postcard, but you can't escape. Accept, accept it. You have too many items. Well, I'm just... It's charity, then. One day, Mr. Carpenter received a revelation. He now speaks the real truth, as opposed to the fake truth. I heard many footprints exist deep down in the East Cave. People called the place Little Footsteps, and it makes them feel uneasy. <laughs> ah! The insane cultist trapped you. He did what? <laughs> Uh, I smashed his face in with a baseball bat. This game might be violent. Blue, blue. I wish for everything in this world to become blue. I think those who won't paint everything blue are opposed to peace. I want them all to listen, even if it requires kicking their butts. Get out of the way. I'm monitoring those who don't pay at the food stand. We trust you. Feel free to shop here. Um, let's get an egg. I can't get an egg. There's a place ahead that can't be painted blue. It's strange, an anti-blue place. I can't stop thinking about it, and I can't even go near that place. Well, actually, you're kind of near it right now. <laughs> Closer than anybody else. Um... Let's see, what do you got? What are you buying? Grr. Wrong button. That's the button. Hello there. I would love a sandlot bat. I would love a ribbon too. But they won't let me put it in my heel. The information on the back of the refreshing herb reads as follows. If you catch a cold, if you're ill, or if you can't seem to heal, if you're poisoned, if you're depressed, a refreshing herb is the real deal. I know it seems pretty iffy, but you should give it a try. Nah, mm, I'll pass. Thank you. Wrong one. Yes. Um. Honestly, I don't foresee myself needing the travel charm anytime soon. Although, I need this even less, so. Oh, that's more expensive than my, uh. bat. Um. No, that's good. Thank you. Hmm. Tanuki did not pay. <gasps> Tanuki! You just stole an egg! Well. You don't seem to understand, so I'll explain it to you. When the world is changed to blue, a peaceful country can be established. Do you understand now? Although you don't understand now, someday you will. You might understand what I have to say, but Carpenter's voice affects one's mind like a hypnotist. Our child is waiting for us in Tucson. As a souvenir, we'd like to bring him some happiness. How about, you know, don't abandon your child? That might be, that might bring some happiness to him. 
We wanted to join the happy, happy religious group. We're a married couple from Tucson. This is the famous Happy Happyism Counseling Office. When you obtain happiness, you should visit the Happy Happyism Headquarters. It's located at the center of the village. That's not really center. Or are you referring to the giant building? You want to talk to Mr. Carpenter directly? You must think you're pretty important, and boy, do you have a lot of nerves. You deserve to be struck by lightning. That's kind of rude. Hello, bald man. When I painted everything blue, as Mr. Carpenter said, my wife, who had run out on me, returned home. Oh. Sweet. Okay, it's a healer. This is actually the makeshift hospital there, so I don't really need to go in there. Mr. Carpenter wants a girl. No, I don't mean like that. I meant he's looking for a girl who can't, who can be the high priestess of happy happyism. I heard he's already got her. <gasps> it's a cow. I'm just a plain old cow, but Mr. Carpenter's messages always move me. What is that sound? What is that sound? Psst, 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 psst. That overweight kid, help me. We kidnapped Bean. You know, she's hidden in a mountain cabin. Oh, oh, now I've done it. I thought you were one of us. You know, I was, I was joking. Ha ha ha. Just forget about this. As it plays the ominous music. What is that? <laughs> Tanuki gets all the chicks. A chick that just hatched. We're all like one big happy family here in Happy Happy Village. Basically, our policy is to only allow family members to stay here in the village. However, if you are interested in learning about Happy Happyism, we may make an exception and let you stay here for $50. Sure. Be sure to do your blue blue chant before bedtime. Blue blue. Everything's blue because I love blue. Bread sucks. Is that how it goes? I don't remember. <gasps> it's a hippie. That's not blue. Mr. Carpenter communicates with the divine, so he is able to deliver inspired messages. Hmm, you're not blue. I not sure, boing. Friends, in valley behind three. Ding ding! Sounds familiar. Um, let's see here. Let's talk to you again. I'm monitoring those who don't pay at the food stand. I noticed you didn't pay. No! Don't attack me, unassuming local guy. Oops. I killed him. Sweet. Oh. But I want a toothbrush. I don't want a toothbrush that bad. Oops. Tanuki abandoned the toothbrush. You won this confrontation, but the good side of you must ache with regret. <laughs> it does. I feel horrible. I got a chicken! This is actually a great way to, to get a bunch of money if you want. A real live chicken. Don't eat it, please. <laughs> because you can, you can get eggs for free, and then you can sell the chickens for quite a bit of money. Uh, I don't actually intend on doing that, but if you're playing this game and would like to basically cheat to get a whole bunch of money, uh, pretty much empty your inventory, just grab as many eggs as you can, and just walk around for a while. 
then sell the chickens. And you'll be set for money. Not that you're really ever really hurting for money in this game. Uh, later on, you may not have, like, enough money to buy everything that you want. But it's never gonna be like, oh shit, I really don't have enough money. I got a cookie. I mean, if you just, if you battle enough, you'll have plenty of money. I don't want another cookie. I didn't even want the first cookie. <gasps> I'll save you, teddy bear! Hey, get out of the way! Talk to the teddy bear. Quit it! Jerk. I don't care about you. The teddy bear's name is Bean, right? Who? Are you Tanuki? Tanuki, I'm so glad it's you. I had a dream that a boy named Tanuki was my destiny. I know it's hard to believe, therefore I knew you would rescue me. If you didn't come, I would have to have tried I would have had to try to bust out of here using this toothbrush. You can't open the door. You have to get the key from Carpenter. He's got it hidden away. I heard that Carpenter can control lightning. In that case, you should wear this Franklin badge. I'll wait here until you return. Come back here and get me once you defeat Carpenter. Don't worry about me. Just kick butt like I know you can. So if you... Wait. Hi, Pokey. It's been a while. Hey, Tanuki. You're just here to bother me, aren't you? You can call me Master Pokey. Since Mr. Carpenter made me an important person, happy happyism. You should join us, but I knew you won't. I'm glad I joined. I'm not going to fight you, but these guys will. Later, Potato. Potato? Don't call me Potato. That's rude. Aw, oh, he survived. Just barely. Ow! 2 HP damage! Anything but that! Run, fat boy! Anyway, as I was saying, if you try to take on, or even talk to, I guess, a car painter without going to see Bean first, or Paula is her actual name. I named her Bean. After Panda Bean! One of my YouTube friends that you should totally check out. Anyway, if you try that, um, he will strike you with lightning. And, uh... Blue, blue. Oh, you'd like to be one of us? Then give up what you're doing and go meet the, mis the great Mr. Carpenter as soon as possible. And uh, I think you'll like... I don't think it gives you a game over. I think it just... Uh... Blue, blue. Don't bother us. We're in the middle of a prayer. Okay, I'll move out of your way. Go quickly. Anyway, um... I think it like takes you back to the the inn type place in this town, but I could I couldn't, I can't remember Blue Blue, what? I'm blocking you Okay, I'll move out of the way There's a problem There's a maze of blueness It's amazing Blue Blue, I'll stand somewhere else Blue Blue, Lagoon Blue Blue Blue, blue, don't disrupt our meeting. I'll stomp on you. Hey, that's rude. No, stop painting me blue. Damn, I actually did forget how to get through here. What, you're saying I'm only capable of walking in place? That's not true, see? It's not even the one I was trying to talk to. Green, green. Oops, that's not it. I'm still new at this. Yeah, it's it's complicated. Skip sandwich. 
I don't need anything right now, so I'm not bothering to... <laughs> blue, blue, I'm trying to learn how to whistle. I heard that whistling makes one smile. I'll practice over there. Blue, blue, you strange unmasked fellow. Don't go to heaven. Holy hell. I don't think that's appropriate. Don't go to heaven. I wonder if heaven's blue. You won! Sweet. That was barely anything but sweet. Lag, 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 lag. Blue, blue, why would a person who's not blue be here? Blue, blue, you can't be happy unless you know happy, happy them. Blue, blue, this should wake you up. Hey! I wasn't aware I was asleep. But thank you. Totally needed to wake up. Blue. Blue. Your outfit. The color is wicked. There is blue in it. Blue, blue. Those who aren't believers must not be good. To eternity with you. Eternity? I don't think that word means what you think it means. I already talked to you, right? Yep. Okay, moving on. Hello, blue man. I screamed because I didn't know what else to do. Huh. Anybody remember this statue from a Lear X Aggregate? Ag Aggerate? Uh, in... Near the meteorite. Uh, in Onet. Thanks for coming. I've been waiting for you. I need your assistance to help make the world blue and change it into a happy and peaceful society. Will you be my right-hand assistant? You fool! I've drawn you into my trap! Carpenter's lightning was reflected by the Franklin Badge. Yeah, that would have a totally different result if you didn't have the Franklin Badge. It even works in battle! But only against uh, lightning attacks. Totally annihilated him! Ooh, sweet, sweet experience. Do you see the many, many statue behind me? Since I got the statue, I've been doing particular things. Peculiar things. Please forgive me if you can. I just wanted to have a normal life. I apologize to everyone. Here's a key to open the jail and the mountain cabin where Bean is being held. Take the key and go. Your backpack is full. You should take this, even if you need to throw away one of your items. Fine. A waste of croissant. Please forgive me if you can. So, he can actually be more challenging than that. Whoa. If he doesn't try to hit you with lightning again. There are only three people remaining. I don't want to stay. I'll get out of here. It looks like almost everyone woke up and left. Sorry about everything. Let's be buddies. Totally buddies, man. Maybe you should, you know, remove the mask. What a horrible nightmare. I somehow woke up. Tanuki, let's be friends again. Please answer me. I promise to be good. Uh, okay? Oh, he's so sad because I didn't say anything. So sad. Ha! I lied. See ya, sucker. Fat jackass. Uh, once you defeat Car Painter, the uh, this right down here shuts down. 
Thanks for the support over the years. The food stand is going out of business due to personal reasons. Regardless of whether you pay for your food or not, it it uh it goes out of business once you defeat Carpenter. We're gonna have a crow good time. Spiteful crew. Ow. 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 Not the eyes. Anything but the eyes. Cookie. C is for cookie. That's good enough for me. To abandon. Nope. Crows are worthless. Tanuki, you got the key. Are you hurt? I'm sorry for all the trouble I've caused you. A key to the holding cell made specially for Bean. Thank you, Tanuki. You're just like I imagined you would be. I'm sure that some people in Tucson are worried about me. Getting back there may be dangerous, but we can do it if we combine our strength. I'm able to use a little psychic power that is actually pretty deadly. Let's head back to Tucson. Yeah, you better get the teddy bear. Better not leave him in there. I have a bean in my butt. Bean joined you. Okay, so we have our first party member. She has bread roll and a teddy bear. I will actually be giving... Oops. I meant to give that to her. <laughs> well... Oh well, I guess. Um, go ahead and give her the bomb as well. Da 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 na 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 Pictures taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius if I do say so myself. Look at the camera, ready? Say fuzzy pickles! Wow, what a great photograph. Fondest memories. Holy crap, there's a lot of crows. Wait, I don't kill it instantly even if it attacks me? That's surprising. What the hell? <laughs> Tanuki! Oh my fucking god, dude! You lost a bread roll because you missed three fucking times. That is quite annoying. She can miss all she wants, I don't care. <laughs> She's not gonna be doing any damage for a long time. Unless she uses her psychic abilities, which is complete waste on the crows, so... The reason why I attacked those two crows after that is because there was I wasn't actually gonna be able to get away from them without attacking them. Or without them attacking me. Because in that particular area, it doesn't matter how strong you are, those crows are always going to attack you. Um, I don't know how much money I need, so I'll just, you know, whip it out. All of it. Give her a fry pan. Give her a copper bracelet. And... Pretty sure the ribbon's better. Um, it's not a big deal that I lost that travel charm because it just protects against paralysis. And nothing uses paralysis until about the third your sanctuary, which we're pretty far away from. So 
it's not a big deal. What? Where did I... I... I'm dumb. I don't... I... Damn it! I don't know what I was doing. There we go. I don't... I don't even know how much money I had. But apparently not enough. Or too much, or... I don't... I'm just gonna shut up for now. So this is actually where you're supposed to go next. It's fairly difficult... Uh, this early in the game. Especially if things attack Bean. Because she is incredibly weak right now. Uh... Occasionally, people might just skip this place and come back to it later. Whether intentional or not. <laughs> Look at that, she just got five levels off of that first enemy. I do want to check something, though. I don't... I think that's actually better than her ribbon. It's not. Okay. Never mind. Because I was thinking, you know, every little bit helps. But apparently not, so never mind. Since I have that hard hat, the Holmes hat will never be useful to me. If I hadn't picked up the hard hat, then the next item up would be the Holmes hat, so... For me. For Bean, it's certainly the ribbon. Because that's even better than my hard hat! Which makes sense, you know? Yeah, she's gonna be leveling up a lot. Look at the skulls. They're so skully. Not very molder, though. But I'm sure there's plenty of mold down here. Hey. Get your little wings off the teddy bear, Mr. Batty. Sweet. I know flesh. I can totally flash people now. I've always wanted to flash people more. Oh, there was two of them. That means there were four bats down here and a mole. That is quite a bit. Usually at most, there's like two bats. Thunder! Which is Fucking worthless. I'm gonna outright tell you that I will most likely never, ever use a Thunder ability in this game. Because they suck so bad. Basically, the problem with them is... Oh, that works. What's this protect against? Oh. Protects against paralysis and adds a bit of speed. Okay, since it adds speed... Um, I'm totally gonna give it to him. I think that actually gave me one defense. And I'm gonna give her the other one. Give it to her. There we go. <laughs> uh, it's not gonna make really any difference, but, you know... Might as well. Ow. Teddy bear. I'm really lucky that they haven't actually done exactly what I was just about to say they weren't doing. They totally just hit me. They killed my teddy bear! Ow. 
Okay, uh, this has actually been an episode. Uh, I will probably do a little bit of grinding in this cave uh, before the next episode. So, thank you guys for joining me, and I will see you guys next time for more Earthbound on Memory Lane Gaming.